In this video, I'll show how to copy a course in Newton Alta as well as copy a course in Blackboard. You may wish to copy a course if you plan on using the same assignments and assessments in your course outline from one semester to the next. In Blackboard, you may also wish to copy a course so you can maintain your module or folder organization as well as any assignment organization or assignment weighting. To start, let's copy a course in Newton Alta. First, you want to click into your original course. On the top right, click Settings. You want to scroll down to the bottom to the Copy This Course section. Click Copy Link here. I recommend going back to your homepage by clicking My Courses on the top left, put in the URL here, and then Enter. We can adjust the course name for the new term, so I'll get rid of copy of, put term two, I'll select my institution, I'll choose my new term dates, and then I'll select my learning management system here on the bottom and click copy. Now your course has been created for the new term. Next, we'll click settings on the top right here and we'll scroll down to the LMS configuration area. There are two links here that we will need to utilize momentarily. For now, let's copy the course in Blackboard. In Blackboard, you will want to copy your previous course's material into the new term. You may wish to do this if you did folder or module organization in the previous term. Also, when you enabled evaluation for all of your assignments in the previous term, when you copy, it will carry over those settings into the new term. On your home page, click into the old term, in this case, term one. We will see the Newton coursework in this old term. In the left-hand navigation, expand packages and utilities. Then click course copy. Under Select Copy Type, you want to choose Copy Course Materials into an Existing Course. Then click Browse. And you want to find your new term course in this list. In this case, I will do Term 2. And then click Submit. Under Select Course Materials, choose Select All. We will leave copy links and copies of the content as default and leave it as is. And we will leave the enrollments area unchecked. Click Submit to proceed. You will get a message on top that this is in progress and you will get an email when this is complete. If you do not get an email right away, I do recommend just going to your homepage and going into the new term course. We can see that it is complete and it copied over the term one material into the term two course. Right now we have our Newton coursework. What we wanna do is we wanna expand this. And there are two things that we need to do in the new term course of Blackboard to make sure that it is connected to the term two course in Newton Alta. We'll go back to Newton and under the LMS configuration section, in the Term 2 course, there are two links that we will need to replace in Blackboard. The first one here is the Course LTI link. You'll click Copy Link. We'll go back into Blackboard. In Blackboard, under the very first assignment, we will click the arrow down and click Edit. Right now, the URL that is right here is actually connected to Term 1. Therefore, we need to replace this to be connected to Term 2. We will completely remove this URL and paste in that URL we just copied from Newton Alta. Then click Submit. Now to connect this Blackboard Term 2 course to Newton Alta, we'll actually click on it. We'll then click Create. We'll click Launch a New Tab. And now we can see our Term 2 course and our Term 2 section. We'll go back to Blackboard, go back to Newton Coursework, and we'll also need to replace one other link. So I'll go back to Newton's Alta, 
and I'll click copy link next to review center LTI link. We'll go back to Blackboard, click the arrow down next to the test review center right here, click edit, remove the URL right here, paste in the new link, and click submit. And I do recommend replacing the LTI link for the Review Center even if you do have it unpublished. You do want to make sure that it is connected to the appropriate term, in this case, Term 2. You may wish to double check that you have enabled evaluation for your assignments and assessments. To do that, find the first assignment, click the arrow down, then click Edit, and in the Edit Web Link page, you want to make sure Enable Evaluation is set to Yes and that you do have a point value. You have the option to add a due date in here, but it is not necessary. The due date in Newton's Alta is what is important, since that is when the grade will pass back to the gradebook. Once you are done reviewing the Enable Evaluation settings, click Submit. Now that we have replaced the Course LTI link, and the Review Center LTI link for this course, it is connected officially to Term 2 within Newton's Alta. Now what I want to do is I do want to test the configuration. We're going to test it first as an instructor. To do that, I will click on the first assignment. I will click Launch a New Tab. And what should happen is it should take us to the reporting page for Term 2. We can confirm that first by looking at the dates right here, and that does look accurate. But also, we can click on the breadcrumb trail here on the top. So I'll click on Section, and I do see it says Term 2, so we're looking good there. And then I'll click Course. Same thing, we're making sure it's Term 2. So from the instructor side, it is launching successfully into the appropriate Term course. Now I want to test it from the student side. I'll click Newton Coursework, and on the top right, you'll see this icon right here where you can enter Student Preview. So I'll click Enter Student Preview. I'll expand Newton Coursework. I'll click the first assignment, Sets and Venn Diagrams. And this is launching successfully for the student. We can tell by looking at the available date right here that this date is connected to Term 2. When you are done, you can click Exit Preview on the top right and then continue. Keep in mind, to get back to the instructor screen, you may need to click back on your browser a couple times. The last thing you'll want to do on the Newton Alta side is that you will want to adjust the due dates for your assignments and assessments. We'll go back to Newton Alta. We'll scroll up to the top. Right now, we're in course settings, so we'll click the back arrow. And then we'll click Manage next to Course Outline. If you wish to adjust the date for one assignment, click on the date, choose the new date, and then click OK. If you wish to adjust the due date for multiple assignments, on the left-hand side, check the boxes. And you can either adjust the start date or the end date. In the calendar, choose the new date, and then click OK. Then proceed. Once you have copied your course in Newton's Alta, copied your course in Blackboard, and adjusted the due dates for the assignments and assessments in your course outline in Newton Alta, you are all set. That is how you copy a course in Newton's Alta as well as Blackboard for the new term.